Welcome to another road trip. The Toadstool Trailhead is roughly 1.5 miles west of the Pariah Ranger Station on Highway 89. There is a small parking area marked with a sign and a trail register. The sign warns about negotiating on soft sand, but there was very little of this. The trail is marked and easy to follow. After the first few hundred yards across desert terrain, the canyon narrows and the trail stays very near the creek bed. Overall, there is little elevation gain, but there are many ups and downs of 2 to 5 feet each. After about 0.6 miles at a small creek branch where the main creek bed goes to the left, continue straight up a short hill to the beautiful red toadstool, the most famous in the area. This family-friendly trail leads up a wide, shallow canyon with rim walls striped in white, reddish brown, and gold. Toadstools are geologic features that have a hard cap rock that sits on top of a more easily weathered sandstone tower and resemble large mushrooms. Hoodoos are wider, oddly shaped towers without the cap rock. While this hike is only 1.6 miles round trip, it's a south-facing route with little to no shade. Be sure to bring plenty of water and sunscreen if you're hiking here in the summer. The sand caves are located 5 miles north of Kanab on the right side of the highway. These sand caves are easily accessed and can be seen from Highway 89. The trail to the hillside is easy to pick up if you park on the shoulder and walk directly across the road. There is no sign for the trailhead, but there is a well-worn path. The easiest way up is to go as far to the left of the rock face as you can and make a few switchbacks until you get to the top shelf where you can then walk straight across to the caves. These sand caves were man-made when they began mining for sand in the area. The mining process was short-lived and now we have these spectacular caves to explore. A colorful formation in contrast to the gray cliffs that followed the hole in the rock road, Devil's Garden is a unique, easily accessible natural play park. After driving 12 miles down the graded road, there is a sign pullout for this spot designated as an outstanding natural area. This desert destination features hoodoos, natural arches, and various sandstone formations formed by and continuously shaped by erosion. Because the trail is a mere half mile long and relatively flat, all people can enjoy exploring and discovering these rocks. Walk around the four hoodoos located at the parking lot and travel south to the incredibly scenic arches. Because of the short hike, the abundance of natural features and the shade with picnic benches, Devil's Garden appeals to everyone. <laughs> 